you know, your back is just like fucked up even though you're 19 years old and you have the back of like a 47 year old and you don't know why. Today, I'm gonna show you my what I eat in a day as a surfing CEO. Let's get started. Every morning, I first start off with a glass of water. I do not eat breakfast typically right away. <laughs> because I'm going surfing right now. Whenever I surf, I eat food. The food just kind of circulates in my stomach in not the best way. Let's go surf. Also, before I go, on my free time, I've been drawing logos and like designs for fun. So essentially last night I was drawing some characters for a show that I'm doing. This is just fun to me. The show is called Friends with Benefits. Then what I do is I import it into my computer. Then I imported it into Photoshop so I could actually make it into a logo. Then I put it into Figma to create the final version with the colors and fonts. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, on to actually surf now. I just came back from a surf, as you can tell by my moisture. I'm sorry I didn't get footage, so I'm gonna like describe what happened with some animations. I went to the beach, right? It was so freaking cold. I didn't even want to get in my wetsuit, but I got in my wetsuit anyways, paddling, paddling, paddling. And I like just, just stood there. I ended up catching some few waves. There were some really cute guys there. Didn't talk to any because I'm not that good. Like I can't even surf past the break yet, but I came back home, took a shower, and now we're here. For breakfast, we're gonna have banana pancakes. I love banana pancakes. I can't cook and this is relatively easy. First, you'll need a banana. Just gonna put one banana in the blender. Then you're gonna need half a cup of oats. Then you're gonna need a little bit of egg whites. I just put two little dabs. One, two, maybe a little more. The egg whites is what binds together everything, so you wanna use enough of that. And the last thing, which is optional, is a little bit of milk. I made my own cashew milk the other day, so I'm just gonna use a little bit, just like a tablespoon. Helps make everything more creamy. I'm gonna blend her. And we have our batter. It should be thick. This is such a bad angle, but I'm gonna heat up the frying pan. I'm adding a tiny bit of vegan butter. I'm not vegan, but I don't like dairy. And then we're gonna just pour the batter into the pan. This batter makes around like three mini pancakes. Let that toast up. Boop, 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 boop. Keep an eye on it, because one time I just let it sit there while I was like doing dishes, and it just burnt, so. I'm gonna flip my pancake, but I'm gonna probably fail. Okay, just Okay, it's kind of lifting. Ready? One, two, three. Ah! I'm pretty good. Drop a like for that shit. Boom, look. That's so nice. So some key things, okay? You need to add toppings. First use honey. The next thing I use is peanut butter. So I just like add a little dollop. The last step is hemp seeds. I don't really know what hemp seeds does. It just looks nice. So I'm a little weird. I like my food a little salty. So I'm just gonna add a crack of salt. Eh, buddy. And voila, there we go. Okay. I will do a taste test for you now. <sighs> Who am I? Marketing? Businesswoman? No. Fucking chef. So it's like 9.30. I'm kind of tired. I'm gonna make myself a matcha green tea latte. Literally, this is the best recipe ever. This is the last matcha tutorial you'll ever need to see. Ever. This is the best matcha powder I've ever found. It's called the matcha latte powder from Jasmine Pearl Tea. They're like a small business in Portland and it's it's actually so fucking good. The second thing is you'll need oat milk. Oatly is uh, the choice. Actually, fun fact about Oatly now that we're here. Oatly, which is my favorite milk, um, recently raised $200 million at a $2 billion evaluation. Their creative director, John Schoolcraft, basically said the secrets of how they were able to reach a $2 billion evaluation. It actually came down into the marketing. So if you look at the Oatly packaging, this is not a typical milk packaging. It's more daring, it's a little out there, a little edgy. John Schoolcraft said it, most corporations take way too long to make decisions. But he basically had less people involved in the marketing so they can have faster decisions. As a fellow entrepreneur and creative, I think this is amazing. They're freaking cool. You guys wanna see the before and after other packaging. This is their before. This is what happened after John Schoolcraft just freaking slayed. I'm adding two tablespoons of matcha to my hot water. Stir it up. Honestly, looking at Oatly, it's really inspiring how a company has been here for 20 years and the past five years took it to an entirely next level. This reminds me how much of my journey needs to be more patient because Oatly took 20 years to get to where they are now and for some reason I want to have those same results in two years. I'm just an impatient Gen Zer. Now I'm going to add the Oatly. Yes! And then I like my drink iced so I'm just going to add some ice to it. Alright, now for the final taste test. So it's currently noon. I just finished up some work. I have a ton to do, so I can't do my full on lunch. Full on lunch is just like so good that I can't wait to make it, but I have to finish my meetings first. So I'm gonna make a snack. I'm about to expose myself. So on a serious note, I actually had 
um, a really big problem with binge eating. I might need to make a whole video about this. I just want to make it sound so casual because it was pretty bad. But like, basically starve myself and then like binge eat multiple times throughout last year and a little bit this year. I'm just trying to control that. And the way I've been doing that is following this sudden urges checklist. So essentially, what I realize is when I'm craving a certain food, not because I'm craving the food, it's because I'm stressed. It's like I have an oral fixation where I like to chew on stuff. So I've been changing and swapping what I gravitate towards to more healthy and wholesome options so I don't feel like shit after. I'm craving something salty, so I'm eating some nuts. So it's 3 p.m. I just had a late lunch. If you guys want to see it, I was calling up some friends while eating my quinoa salad. To make my quinoa salad, all you will need are lettuce, cabbage, cucumber, chickpea, quinoa, and grapes. Grapes are the key ingredient. Do not forget it. For some reason, it doesn't taste weird. It tastes so good. And the dressing I use is this one. It's so fulfilling and I'm ready for my next meeting. So it's around four and I have a recording for my podcast with my co-host Max Clemento. We typically eat a bowl of cereal when we talk. It's just a nice little socially, you know, chill thing to do. Some honey clusters with some honey and some milk. Yes. So it's 9.30, I'm having like a late dinner. I'm making myself some pasta. I have the genius idea to add grapes. Never added grapes to my pasta. I feel like it'd be pretty good. So I just came back from a hike. It was really epic. Try to balance like my work-life balance and hikes are one of my favorite ways to do it. But I'm making some pasta. I'm adding these turkey meatballs to my pasta. I just have to microwave them. The other day, I dropped my olive oil on the kitchen floor, glass shards all over. Then I decided to pick it up, but then I accidentally stepped on the glass shards, and that is not fun. Now I'm adding some spinach. And the final step is adding the parmesan. Adding white of ton. And voila, there you go. My mom likes to make fun of me for this, but I love to add Tabasco. And when I say add, I mean like drench. So good. So guys, I'm really into my dessert and I've been really liking these kind frozen bars. It looks like this. These guys are so good. They're like dark chocolate, almond, sea salt. It's just my favorite way to end the night and have dessert. It's like 10 p.m. I have to wake up like 5.30 tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys so much. Domination, shout out to the comment winner. It's gonna be the next comment winner. Comment below if you like to eat grapes with your pasta. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay, daylight, I'm tired, bye.